It's a beautiful day on Lake Washington. Amid the gently lapping waves, kayakers, and overcast sky, ah, great to see you. there's some serious star power. I apologize for being so close to you. <laughs> Even getting set up for the interview, we got a taste of that trademark charm. A beautiful woman is apologizing for being so close to me. Now what is that? Can you figure that out? Well, there are more important to come. Seattle's own Tom Skerritt has been in some of the biggest movies and TV shows of the past five decades. But his amazing acting career started by accident. Well, I was an English major in college <laughs> who saw Citizen King. Uh -huh. And I was so moved by it, I said, I want to write and direct that. It was the 1960s, and Skerritt was a student. I am a writer, yeah. director, who wound up making a living as an actor and that's that's one of those other odd things I thought I should know how to act and and then they hire me to be in a little dollar 98 movie which has Robert Redford and, and Sidney Pollack in it. The movie was War Hunt. One thing led to another. I met this television director who lived in the neighborhood there in Westwood when I was going to UCLA. So I mentored with him for several years. MASH, a motion picture that raises some... And one day he calls me up and says, so I got a job directing a movie. I'd love to be in it. And it's called MASH. So I'm mentoring... That's small potatoes. I'm mentoring with Robert Altman. <laughs> MASH comes out and take, goes to the ceiling when, with success. MASH lit up the silver screen in 1970 and won an Oscar for Best Screenplay. Then, another hit the following year. Check out a young Tom Skerritt as a motorcycle cop in Harold and Maude. It's your truck. Hal Ashby, which I was involved with him, when he was doing Harold and Maude, and being there and watching him cut. as an Academy Award winning editor, so you're learning from the best. He became an in-demand actor, while still soaking up everything he could about making movies. Then Ridley Scott, I followed him everywhere I could when I were doing Alien. My options, sir. Simple. First, you've acquired enough points to show up tomorrow and graduate with your Top Gun class. Or you can quit. And you know this, when you talk about Tom Skerritt, what, you, what comes to mind is, um, of course, Top Gun, River Runs Through It, Steel Magnolias is a big one. Weezer, can we call a truce long enough for me to get a piece of cake? Thanks, Weezer. That's my good piece of I know this is tough. What's your favorite Tom Skerritt movie? To, to really to have the career that I've had and fall into it in the way I did and absorb it the way I have and to be able to execute it the way I can is quite enough. How do you keep creating these characters? Well, acting and writing, any creative thing we do is the, uh, is the sum of what we experience. You know, uh, you just observe the way people walk, uh, the way they talk to each other. Uh, that's the imagination at work. Now 85 years old, Skerritt's imagination is as incredible as ever. Slowing down is not something he's interested in. I don't know really what the point is in retiring as long as you can do something. Especially now because I really feel very much about a certain responsibility of the community to give what I've learned to that which I know, which is the film business. This is Jin. <laughs> Along with wife Julie, he started a new business called Hey You Media. This old school movie star is all about creating new content. They call it bite-sized for every appetite. New media content, which is um, what Hey You Media is about, short, uh, short uh, subject matters, episodic matters, you know, stories we can tell uh, episodically and uh, deliver to the new world. It's so cool. On iPhones and iPads and home video. Well, speaking of content, I, I think I saw you cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Cook's out there. Cook's, Cook's out, out there. Okay, yeah. all I know is you were in there learning how to make this beautiful bread. Oh, it's just a big old Chevron station, but in the back, it's got this crown glorious Jake's Pickup Bakery. Besides the series and mini movies, the company will offer reimagined classics from the silent film era and Hey You features. Well, <laughs> David Goodison wrote Snow Falling on Cedars. I don't know if you've ever read yeah, that. Yeah, he's His, local, right? Yeah. What we're trying to do is develop local product, local writers. There's, uh, David has what he's done, and he has a second one, which is called East of the Mountains, East of these mountains, Cascades, where he grew up. 
Okay. And uh, we're going to co-produce that film. Uh, hopefully next spring, and I'll play the lead in it. Okay. The Pat means Good. get it over with Tom. Oh, I know. Scared is still <laughs> tackling new challenges with passion. I learned a lot very early on about really taking the risk of possibilities and just, you know, going for the audacity of imagination. <laughs> I love those phrases, don't you? <laughs> in the faith that looks through death. For the past 30 years, he's managed to be a force in Hollywood with a home base right here in Seattle. Why Seattle? Oh, look. People like you, people that are here who have just got their feet on the ground and we can talk about baseball, football, and a number of things other than what's your next movie. With around 70 movies to his name and 100 TV shows, Tom Skerritt is still acting, learning, teaching, and well, taking risks. Good luck. And it's not about winning or losing, it's really about what you learn in the process of trying, taking the risk of possibility. And that one is very much in my soul. Malia Karlinski for Seattle Refined.